Hello and welcome to my enrichment homework on values and art. I hope you like the video and find my subject interesting. I learnt about Friedenreich Hundewasser in art. Mrs. Moraga showed me some pictures and they inspired me to do this enrichment. I chose Hundewasser because his pictures are always vibrant with no dark colours. They are always nice colours like blue, green and yellow. The pictures are never simple and they are complex and detailed. My favourite picture is Waiting Houses because it is stripy and colourful and makes me feel happy. The values I feel when I look at Hundervasa art is happiness and peace. Happiness because the colours are so vibrant and lovely and make me feel positive. Peace because there isn't anything negative in them, nothing scary or damaging. They can make me calm because you know there's nothing scary lurking around the corner. Hundervasa was born in Vienna, Austria on December the 15th, 1928 and died in the year 2000, age 71. He died while on the cruise ship on the QE2, which is a very posh cruise ship, and he was buried in New Zealand. His birth name was Friedrich Stowasser, and he changed his name to Friedenreich Hundervasser. Hundervasser was Jewish and was 11 years old at the start of World War II. He pretended to be a Christian so he didn't get persecuted by the Nazis. He showed great bravery during this time and that is shown in his paintings. Hundervasser hated straight lines. He called them the devil's tool. This was because the Nazis marched in straight lines in a square formation. He used curved lines to represent the value of freedom as this is the opposite to the manner which the Nazis marched. In his paintings, he merged human with nature by using bright colour and organic forms. This demonstrates the value of unity. He shows it in his painting by using a human face as a part of nature and his lips as a bridge linking the two towns together. Hundefasser started as a painter, but in his later life became an architect and still demonstrated the values of bravery, freedom and unity. None of his buildings have straight lines, and he said that an uneven floor is a melody to the feet. He also showed bravery as everybody else used straight lines for their buildings, while he used curved and other unusual lines. He dared to be different. He merged nature with artificial materials to represent unity and freedom. This can be seen in his building here, which has no straight lines and grass and trees growing on the roof which goes back to his merging humans with nature. I enjoyed learning about Hundervasa, and this is my painting that Hundervasa inspired me to create. I hope you love his paintings and the values he demonstrated in his life and art as much as me. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and you can enjoy the paintings too.